Good day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a little maintenance work on the Porsche Boxster here. We're going to take care of the neglected uh, convertible top. I've done a lot of work to this vehicle as far as uh, preserving the paint and, and you know protecting the paint, the wheels and everything, but I've neglected the uh, convertible top for some reason. Um, I was watching some YouTube the other night and I seen uh, a few videos on how to take care of your convertible top, so I thought I would do the same. Um, when I did some uh, the, the quick research that I did do, um, I found two products that were you know rated highly by a lot of people. One was Ragtop the kit from the company called Ragtop, and the other was from a company called 303. Uh, those seem to be the two that stood out in my mind. And the quick, like I said, the quick research that I did, those were the two that kind of stood out. So I started shopping online a bit um, to find. Uh, any one of those two products and it seemed to me that the product that was more available to me in my country uh, I could get both of them but one of them I, I could get a lot quicker I chose the product from 303 it's a convertible uh, top care kit uh, for fabric which is what this is is fabric um, and I went and bought the chemical guys uh, horsehair brush which is a little softer brush because you know this is fabric you don't want to uh, rough up the material by using something like this which is a much harsher brush um, and uh, not suitable I think for the soft top so this can also be used for interior leather panels because again it's not harsh um, and uh, I think it'll do a great job on the top very highly recommended uh, th this kit did not come with a brush some of the kits do uh, this particular one did not um, what did come in it is the cleaner 303 cleaner some triggers and the fabric guard all right so the first thing I'm going to do though is so you can see there's a lot of lint on here and I'm just gonna use a simple lint roller get all the lint off you can see it's coming off pretty easy uh, once that's done I'm going to take it outside um, and give it a quick wash. The, the rest of the car needs a wash as well. So what I'll do is I'll start by uh, washing this off and uh, you know cleaning it, protecting it, and then I'll finish washing the rest of the vehicle. So let me take it outside. Now, quick disclaimer, guys, this is not a paid promotional video. I purchased all these products uh, myself, paid full price for them. I am not a professional detailer. So, you know, this is only what I'm doing to the vehicle. Please do not take this as religion and, uh, you know, that this is the way you must do it. This is just the way I interpreted that it would be done. Uh, again, not a professional uh, detailer by any means. This is just a regular guy trying to take care of his car. Now I can tell you from experience washing the car before that there is no protection on this top now, but let's get it wet and see how it repels water. And you can see it's not repelling the water at all. It's just basically sitting there and soaking it all in. Matter of fact, the uh, window beads a lot more than the top does because of the cleaners I use on the window. Um, you can see it, the top is just no protection whatsoever. So I did do the lint brush um, on the top just to get rid of some of the fuzzies that are on there. And I know you're saying, well, you're going to clean the top anyway. Who cares? Well, just the way I'm doing it again, you don't have to follow what I'm doing. Um, I'll probably have to lint brush it again after before I put the protectant on it. But that's just the way I wanted to do it. And you can see like it's really just soaking it in. So I'm going to apply the cleaner now at this point and uh, we'll start agitating it with the brush and we'll get it all uh, cleaned up and then we'll let it dry for a few hours before we put the protectant on it. Okay, so it says to just apply the uh, cleaner on it liberally and then we'll agitate it with the brush. I'll just do a small section here. A little bit windy today, so it's taking it away a little bit, but let's grab the brush here. Yeah, I could feel that, you know, the brush is nice and soft, anything harsher than this, and I think uh, we'd have a problem with the top. So, you know, there's a reason why uh, chemical guys and whoever makes brushes like this use a soft uh, uh, hairbrush like this. Uh, you know, they've got experience not ruining things. Anyway, I'll finish the top up. 
Okay, so I've got it all agitated, and uh, um, you want to you, you want to try to stay in the shade, not in the sun, so it doesn't dry up. We've got a kind of an overcast day today, so that's why I chose to do this today. Um, but it's all scrubbed down, and if you notice here, some of these horse hairs have come off the brush, right? So you want to make sure you get all that off before you do your protectant and that was a decent brush it was a $25 brush from chemical guys again highly rated um, but some of the hairs come off I don't think it's a big deal but just so you are aware you don't want to put the protectant on with, with all that on there so let's rinse all this off kind of forcing me now to clean the rest of the car although it needed it but uh, you know you want to make sure you get it all off there so again you can see no protection on there and yeah some of the horse hairs I can see are still on the top they're sticking to it a bit so we will have to use that lint brush just to make sure all that is off before we apply the protectant Anyway, for now, what I'm going to do is dry this off with a microfiber towel. We'll let it sit for a few hours, at least a few hours, make sure the top is completely dry. We'll bring it back in the garage and apply the protectant to it. Interesting note, you can see how the paint is protected. The water just slides right off. It hardly accumulates at all. And this is just with a regular Meguiar's wax, you know, something you can buy over the counter at any any retail store. And I did this last year about 5,000 kilometers ago and look at it, I mean, it's still acting the way it's, it's supposed to act when you initially apply it. And again, it's been a, almost a year and 5,000 kilometers and it's still, you know beads and sheaths off the car very well now you can see the top not so much so that's why I decided to do this now to help it dry I'm just using a regular microfiber towel um, just to help get some of the water off and then we'll let it sit in the garage um, for a few hours and we'll uh, put the protectant on after that Now I had mentioned that the uh, weather was you know, overcast and there was rain in the forecast. So I was going to bring it in the garage and let it dry in here. But uh, miraculously the sun came out and uh, it's hot outside now. So we're gonna let this dry out in the driveway for a bit. Now it's about an hour, hour and a half later. It's been sitting in the sun. The top is very dry. You can see some painter's tape here. After reading the instructions on the uh, fabric guard bottle, it says to protect uh, any plastics that are around uh, because it can damage it. So I, I covered the plastic window and some of the plastic moldings around uh, the glass and that I'm going to wipe down right away. Uh, as I'm spraying, I'll wipe down the windows right after. So I'm not too concerned about that. However, uh, something you do want to be concerned about is overspray uh, onto other vehicles. So the C8 is going outside. Sorry, I had to do it. Okay, so the car's been in the garage for about an hour or so. Um, I've had the air conditioning running just because uh, I, I didn't want to spray it. Uh, when it was that hot it's like 90 outside and the top was just pretty hot so i got it down to room temperature i mean red wine is better at room temperature so this must be too but uh anyway so i've got it down to room temperature um everything's taped off we got everything out of the garage that uh can't get over sprayed and then this car i'll wipe it down quickly after we spray it however before we do that i want to run the lint the roller across this again just to get any final particles off of it because I still can see some little horse hairs that came off the brush on there. So uh, uh, chemical guys, if you're watching, your brush leaves a lot of horse hair um, on the top after scrubbing it. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a horse hair there. And uh, you know, maybe that's normal for these types of brushes. I don't know, I've never used it. However, we're gonna uh, be sure and run the roll over it one more time and then we'll give it a spray. See it guys? Not sure if you can catch it on the camera, but it's picking up a lot.
Okay, so it's picked up a lot of lint. I think this is an important step. Uh, I didn't read that anywhere, but uh, just something I did on my own. And uh, I think this was an important step for me anyway. It got a lot of stuff off the top. So now let's give it a spray. Okay, that's one coat. Um, it says here that curing time is about 12 to 24 hours, I believe. Um, or, yes, 12 to 24 hours. Um, but I'm going to give this a second coat. I'm going to wait about an hour and uh, give it a second coat as well. Just because it was so bad, there was no protection on it whatsoever. It does not say that in the instructions. However, I'm going to give it a second coat just to make sure that there's lots of protectant on there. I'm going to use a no rinse uh, waterless wash kind of mix here for my uh, to wipe down the vehicle with. You can use a, neat, a detailer or whatever you have. This is what I have available. It works great. Um, if it's good enough to wash your car uh, when it's dirty, uh, you know, it's good enough to wipe off some of the spray. The spray is still fresh, so we're going to do it right now. You can definitely see some overspray on here, so it's good to get it off right away. Okay, so it's been about an hour or so, so we're going to go ahead and give it another coat of the fabric guard. Um, Okay, so the second coat is complete. It's on there pretty liberally. I'm not an expert spray painter by any means, as you probably noticed, but it's on there pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the vehicle down. As you can see, there's some overspray on the windows and stuff. Um, and uh, we'll take the tape off. We'll wait uh, till tomorrow. We'll take it outside tomorrow, uh, wash the whole vehicle, and we'll see how this repels water now that it's complete. Um, lots of cleaner left over. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to clean it. Uh, however, I did use quite a bit of the FabriCard bottle. I would say it's probably around here. Uh, so I did use quite a bit of it. Cleaner is pretty full. It's up here somewhere. So a lot more uh, FabriCard used than uh, the uh, cleaner itself. 
But all in all, easy to do, pretty simple. The most work is this tape job and, and cleaning afterwards. That takes longer than the actual applying the product. So tomorrow we'll see um, how this repels water. Okay guys, so it's the next morning. Uh, about 20 hours have passed. It's about 6.30 in the morning. And uh, on my way to work, thought I'd give this a spray and see how it repels water. Oh yeah, look at the beading on that. Wow. Yeah, no water is absorbed whatsoever. Well, definitely works. So there we go, guys. Pretty simple process. Uh, product worked great. I, I'm not sure, again, if this is the best product you can get or not, but this is the one I chose, and it, as you can see, it seemed to do its job perfectly. Not sure how long it'll last, but if and when I see that the beads or that the top starts to absorb water again, I'll add uh, some more protectant that I have left over here. Um, so the cleaner and the fabric guard, uh, that package was $75 on Amazon. Again, I'm not an affiliate. I, I don't make these videos for money. I just do it because uh, I'm a car enthusiast, but uh, you can pick those up anywhere really. Just type in 303 uh, uh, convertible top cleaner. And then I bought the brush separate from Chemical Guys, again on Amazon, I believe, and it was like 25 bucks. If there was anything wrong with this process, um, you know, the, this brush, I've never used a horsehair brush, so I'm not sure if that's normal or not, but there was, uh, you know, quite a bit of hairs that came off of this brush uh, that stayed on the top that I had to, you know, uh, lint brush off. And even now, when I wet down the car and I uh, dried it off, I still found a few hairs here and there. So I'm not sure if that's normal or not, but uh, I, that's the only thing I didn't like about this is that little extra work you have to do to get those hairs out of there. Um, maybe a different brush would be better. I don't know. Just the one I chose. But um, anyway, all in all, it worked out well. Hope you guys learned something from this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.